Hello guys, today let's talk about blade components, or in fact how to optimize this mess of CSS classes, which I've encountered pretty recently in one of my demo projects. So this comes by the way from Tailwind UI, from one of the designs, it suggests a lot of Tailwind classes to have active or inactive menu items. It looks like this. This is the menu item, similar to Laravel Breeze, so you can click around and this is active or inactive menu, and then on hover there's another CSS effect. But it looks pretty ugly, right? So there are classes by default, and then if route is this, then you add more classes, otherwise you add other classes. Let's refactor that into blade component to be reused for more menu items. Imagine if there are five more menu items like this, so the blade file will be polluted over a few scrolling of ID. So first let's generate the component, which will be our navigation link. And we can do that with the command php artisan make component, let's call it nav link and provide that it's just the view component so it won't have blade class it will be just a view component created successfully okay it is created in resources views components nav link blade empty for now with default div where we need to place our link so step by step first let's place it as it is so i just copy one of the links and paste it here and to call the component instead of doing href we just do x nav link and let's call roles here so this is our goal to have the component repeatable component so it would be roles and then permissions like this right and this is our component and believe it or not on some level it will already work just like that so if we refresh our page we have those two new menu items but the second one isn't called permissions because we hard-coded everything in the blade component. So there's rows here, there are no variables here. And let's add those variables and also optimize that if else as well with blade directive called class. First, let's take care of the name of the link and this is in blade components language called slot. So the main thing which is between those starting and ending tags, so this will be the slot. And now if we refresh our page, we have rows and permissions now. So this works already with the slot. Next thing, those href is also hard-coded. We need to make it as a variable. And for that, all we need to do is to add attributes here. So any attribute that you provide to your component would be passed like this. So instead of href here, we add that tref just with one different symbol, which is colon. It should be colon and then instead of outputting that as blade, this will be our value. So we need to pass the value of the route like this and we do that differently with permissions. So different route. Let's close the sidebar so you would see all the code. So now our link should work. If we refresh, of course I made a typo, permissions index. Now for refresh and we can click around. So permissions, roles, the navigation itself works. And finally, let's take care of that mess of classes, which I mentioned previously. And for that, we will use a blade directive called class. Like this, it accepts, it may accept the array of parameters, which means some classes based on some conditions, other classes based on some other conditions, or if it doesn't have any conditions, then it is just like this. So this is the syntax roughly. For that to have variables, we need to pass those variables. And for that in Blade component, we need to define properties. So we will have one property, props, and we'll have array of active or not. And then we'll define that active variable in our layout when we use that component, active equals when it is active, when request route is roles, like this. So we add active here and let's put it on another new line like this. So now we have active and then if active, we will add those classes like this. And then in case of not active, we will add another class set. So not active here. And then those classes are by default, which brings them here. So this is the syntax instead of that if else and if we have something like this we don't need that quote and that should be working not sure how to format it properly let's 
use PHP Storm, but it says that it's already formatted, so no suggestions for formatting. And let's see if it actually works. We reload the permissions. It says undefined variable. Why? Oh, because I enabled it only for one of the menu items. So for another menu items, let's define the active as being request with permissions. And now if we reload, it works. So permissions active. If we click rows, rows active. So it's the same behavior. You can click around on this one or that one. It's absolutely the same. So we can remove, totally remove the previous links and now see how more pretty it is. Nav link with two parameters with the link itself and when it is active and all the logic of CSS classes are actually in the blade component. So this is just one example of using blade components for repeatable code in blade. If you want more daily tips, subscribe to the channel. I keep shooting daily videos on YouTube and see you guys in those other videos.